With mountain views, tropical vegetation, and a variety of paddling opportunities, it's no surprise many travelers dream of visiting Tahiti. For body glove team paddler Anne Pagano, that dream has come true as she arrives in Tahiti with her inflatable paddleboard in hand. So most of my stand-up paddling has been in the continental U.S. or up in British Columbia, and I have not made it overseas yet, so this is my first international stand-up paddling trip, and it's been pretty amazing. One of the things that I like about traveling with an inflatable board is how well it packs and travels. And this trip, I brought my body glove performer, and it fits in my duffel bag. It's 11 feet long, it rolls up nice and tight, so I've got it in my same bag with my clothes, with my breakdown paddle, and then I get here, unroll the performer, pump it up, and hit the water, so it's pretty sweet. What I really enjoy about traveling and stand-up paddling is I get to see different areas that I wouldn't see as just a normal tourist, so it's a nice escape, and that's one of the big appeals to me, is being away, alone, enjoying the solitude and the nature. Both locations that we've stayed on this trip are in protected lagoons. So you've got calm water, you've got pretty shallow water, and because it's so crystal clear and shallow, you get to see so many different types of fish. You don't get pushed around by big waves. So it's been pretty, pretty awesome. We're staying right on the water in these beautiful bungalows that I, you just dream of, right? And we walk out our back door and we're right on the water in this absolutely gorgeous lagoon. Ann and I came out to the edge of the lagoon here. <laughs> and, um, there's some really beautiful like aqua blue waves crashing just outside on the reef. So we just paddled out and um, we're checking it out. There's the reef protecting the lagoon, and then outside is the ocean. So you don't even have to leave the security of the lagoon when you visit here. It's nice and safe and calm on the inside, and you can avoid the rough waters of the ocean on the outside. We've stayed at some amazing resorts. Just what you'd picture in paradise are these bungalows over the water, and you walk in and you just, it's like complete, happiness that you get to stay in a place like this. I had my board out on the balcony, so I was able to open up my little door, carry the board right down the steps onto the water and, and paddle off in the morning and enjoy being out on, on the Motu and in the crystal blue lagoon with all the aquatic light. You look down and there's fish everywhere, beautiful, colorful fish. You can just stand there for literally hours and be mesmerized by the beauty of the ocean here. While I've been hanging out with Anne on this trip, we've had a really good time. It's nice to have a girl on a trip once in a while with me because it's usually I'm with, with guys. So I like having um, a female companion because we can goof off and have fun. And one day we were just kind of messing around and we saw these funny lounge chairs on the beach. So we thought it'd be nice to put them on top of the boards and try to paddle around on them. Uh, maybe try a new aspect of the sport we like invented called lounge chair paddling. <laughs>